Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo. And I'm the wife. And today we're playing... Tenshu General. Tenshu General is a simple, elegant, real-time strategy game for those who favor short play sessions over long play sessions. Quick, casual gameplay combined with the challenge of continuously adapting enemies allow for a surprisingly challenging uh, exercise and strategy. It is a cross between a... And that's where it ends. Cross between a board game and a classic RTS. If you like Risk or 8-Minute Empire, Tenshu Generals is your game. So this game will be released December 1st, 2015. It's kind of like it really is kind of like a board game, a real-time strategy board game. So you gonna give it a shot? Sure. Oh. Sorry, I'm still stuck at the continuously adapting part. Kind of reminded me of the Borg. The Borg. Of course. Yeah, this game is entirely like the Borg. Exactly. <laughs> You totally nailed it. So what's a real-time strategy board game? A uh, real-time strategy game is where you have all the units, they move in real time, and, and you can group units and send them to attack and stuff like that and build stuff in real time, rather than uh, as opposed to turn-based where you have to do everything and then click a button to go to the next turn. Oh, yeah. And the okay. board games are board games on boards and their games, and mm. they're on a board. Yes, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So we're going to do a quick little skirmish game on one of the default maps. And this is the kind of the level one map, kind of almost the tutorial. We're going to play on casual so that I actually can talk about what I'm doing without getting totally, completely destroyed. So we're going to click start, choose our Tenshu location. It's going to be here. And we have started the game. I don't think there's a way to pause. I guess I can go to escape and pause. But um, basically, this is your map. It's separated into a grid of all these little um, irregular polygons. Wow, totally. My geometry teacher so so proud of me from 20 years ago. <laughs> Irregular poly... I probably used the wrong term anyway. Um, so you got... Wait, 20 years? Oh, I guess it would be 20 years ago. I'm so old. Wow. Um, and... Wait a minute. What's a Tenshu? A Tenshu. To Google. It's Tenshu, Tenshu General. I thought it was a place. Tenshu, also called Tenshu Kaku, is a central tower or main keep of a Japanese castle. Ah. It is the most defining feature of a Japanese castle. Okay. So it's like the base. Eh, Sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> I think this is a Tenshu down here. And we also have cities, and the cities have a number uh, amount of rice that they generate per, you know, turn, sort of. Uh, like, over over time, the, the rice will go into your economy. Your whole economy is based on rice, so the more rice you have, the more armies you can build, and the more upgrades you can do to your towns and things like that. Mm -hmm. Good so far? Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to unpause. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the city to create an army and an advisor. And I'm also going to start upgrading cities as I send that army around to capture things. There's also on these on the map they got mountains, which are defensible areas. You got forests, which are defensible areas. And these areas um, favor one army type over another army type. So it might favor, you know, mountains might favor spearmen over horses, and forests might favor like archers over horses mm -hmm. or something like that. You know, I guess archers would probably be mountains, but whatever. We'll look at it. And they also have these white flags. These are actually opposing or rebel armies that will stop you if you try to go in those areas. So we got to have a strong army to go into these sectors. So we're kind of trapped in this bottom left-hand corner until we break out. So who are we attacking? So we're actually attacking this guy. This is the enemy opponent. Uh, it's green. He has one army. He's going to be attacking here, here, and, and working his way down there, eastern coast, because uh, until he has an army strong enough to handle these, these guys. So you're both trying to make it to each other? To or, attack each other yeah. in the meantime, uh, also attacking these rebels. Yeah, yeah. The rebels have these towns that you can capture as well, so we can get more economy. So this all makes sense once I unpause and actually show you the game. Oh, so you're telling me to shush and just let you go on? Not exactly. Shh. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Okay. Here, you ready to go? Continue. Okay. So we we started. I'm going to go ahead and create my army, like I said, and my advisor. That's going to give me a 40% economic boost. I'm going to send my army. Um, which has one swordsman. I'm going to just send him uh, over to here. He's going to go capture that. In the meantime, I'm going to upgrade my farm on my first starting place. Use a bunch of that. Moo. Lots of moos. And we're going to capture moo moos. We're going to capture this place. And see, now this started with 40 rice coming per, you know, whatever period. Now it's generating 484. So we can then upgrade more stuff. Does the change of color, the blue, mean it's yours now? Yes. So as I capture stuff, it turns to a different color. Good well, observation. That's quick. So I've captured all these. He's capturing those. And he's going to work his way down here probably because those are all empty. I'm going to keep upgrading all my places. 
Now, if you actually do the math, if you actually do the math, some of these will actually make more sense to do. But I'm just, I'm just upgrading all of them. Not okay, enough Okay, that guy's coming quickly. He is coming pretty quickly, but I think we're going to be okay. Thankfully, I put this game on casual mode. Yes. So, can I keep upgrading these? Okay, now we can start upgrading. I'm going to move my army up here, and I'm going to start upgrading my army because all of my towns are basically fully upgraded. So, I'm going to get an archer. Advantage mountains. The infantry, I don't know that they have a... I don't know what advantage they have yet. Hold on. Advantage forest, and then advantage plains on the horse. But I'll just make a nice balanced army for now. Okay, he looks like he's going to go up here and attack this place. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attack behind him. Yep, see he beat the rebel army, so I'm gonna go attack him, assuming he took some damage from that rebel army. Yes! Okay, result. I win. So I beat his army. I'm gonna keep upgrading my army. But I'm also gonna take my army and capture these areas. I'm gonna prevent him from getting out of his area up here. Just kinda lock him in up there. Blink, blink, blink. Does he have any people down here in these other green squares? Or nope. polygons? He, he has these captures, so he's going to get economic stuff from this. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, create another army and recapture all these areas. Like right about now. Another army. We're going to go up here. And we're going to come around. We're going to wrap around and capture all the rest of these provinces. While we keep him trapped up here. Got a nice strong army up here, so he won't be able to get out. Yes, keep going. Keep going. See if I can get him to go to the right location. Yes. Okay, meantime, I'm going to upgrade these new cities I just got. Just to make sure I totally have him, you know, beaten economically. Those, those moo cows are going to come out really loud on the video. <laughs> just saying. It's going to be like me me talking in the background and you, you just hearing moo. I was going to say, imagine someone watching this video in like their bedroom and then like someone else hearing all of the moo. moo. What are you watching? Moo. Yes, that's, that's really loud. Wow, this is a nice city over here. Look at this. This goes faster than I thought it was going to. Yeah, it is a really quick game. Is it because it's on casual mode? Uh, it's because of the map we chose is a small map. You can choose much larger maps. I just, this is kind of like almost the tutorial map that lets you get your feet wet with, with the game. And also the kind of the tutorial difficulty, so this guy's not going to be that tough to beat. Is it always one versus one, or can it be more than that? Great question. I think I've seen maps with up to, like, three. So I could capture these other other two locations, but we're just going to store other three, but we're just going to skip them. We're just going to go in for the smackdown. You ready? Oh, let's go smack them. Going to go smack them. That's how we fight. I'm also going to upgrade this uh, army as soon as I can in case I lose. Okay, he has one spear, uh, one uh, infantry. We'll go ahead and take that down. And now we're up against the walls of his city. Nice. Victory. And we win. Wow. Took it. Time played. It, it says one minutes. I'm I'm pretty sure we played longer than one minutes. Um, but yeah, that's the first level. So let's. You want to check out the maps and stuff? Yeah. Okay. So they got this as the rise of Atsuko, which is this Atsuko Han, the guy we played as. Uh, then we have fight for control, which is more narrow map. Mm -hmm. We have Hiroshi's entrance, which you have Hiroshi Han, Atsuko Han, and Daichi Han. Yeah, that's more interesting. Yeah, but basically it's. You know, three kingdoms kind of style. You have struggle, Ooh. which is four player. You got I feel sorry for the du the red dude. Katashi in the surrounded. center. Yeah, Katashi in the center. I'm assuming they're gonna give uh, the game will give this guy a lot of economic power to make him able to fend off the other three. Um, then we got new lands, kind of a big complex one with two players. Hex war, <gasps> which is a small one. Huh? What does that remind you of? Uh, what does that remind me of? I don't know. Every time I see maps like that now, I think of Settlers of Catan. Oh, Settlers of Catan. Good good point. Then we got Confrontation, which has three right here. 
And this is interesting because like this guy has like part of the map blocked off down here. So he could very easily kind of capture this whole southeastern area. That's really neat. You have prosperous fields. Oh, you, have... you all start at the same side. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll start at the bottom and then you want to... You want to see who can capture up here at the top, and if you capture that and kind of block it off, it pretty much makes you very economically powerful. So I think that would be a cool one to try. Corridor has four players with kind of a corridor in the center, and it's only one location, so you know you, you can imagine a lot of fighting going on right here. So basically, beat the dude next to you, then move to the other side. Ideally, yeah. Campaign skirmish, you can see how huge this is. Now, who would get the little space to the right? I guess Hiroshi Han would get all those. Huh. But this is a lot of land, so yeah, yeah, this could be a really big game. And then back to the start. And so there, there's that. There, those are all skirmish modes. And then you can also go in campaign mode, which I actually haven't tried. But you see kind of what that looks like. Introduction, Rebels Blockade, Rice Production... Daichi's revi uh, arrival, the shipwreck, the additional advisor, Hiroshi's entrance, disaster strikes, final test. So I guess this would be the final test one right here. So that's pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm. So very nice little game. What do you think? Um, not my kind of game. Yep, it's, it's definitely not your kind of game. <laughs> I can know. I know that just from knowing this kind of game. <laughs> but. It's your kind of game. It is. It is a. It is a, a fun, quick kind of board game. Um, if you like, you know, I, I don't want to use the example of chess, but it's kind of like it's kind of like one of those chess type board games where you're strategizing and thinking, what should I do next? Where should I prioritize my economy? That's 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 nothing like chess. Why did I even <laughs> use that example? Um, but it, it's it's neat. It's a neat little board game. So I like it. Do you have any other games you can, can kind of compare to, say it's like this? Sort of Risk-like. I mean, they used it in the description. Risk would be the first thing that comes to mind as far as a board game like this. But very neat. I like it. Cool. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the... Subscribe button. We've been playing... Tenshu General. And I've been Jalindo, and you've been... The Wife. And remember... Keep it clean.